Mondays at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. We begin tonight with a warning from Victoria Police to children and to parents after a third suspected child luring attempt in less than a month. All three of the incidents have happened close to Oakland's elementary school, and that has the community on high alert. From neighbors nearby to watchful school attendants and parents, everyone is taking extra precautions to make sure the kids are safe. CTV's Aaron Glazier has the story. Playground supervisors are keeping a closer than normal eye on children at Oakland's elementary after a man attempted to lure a young boy on Tuesday. There's nothing more important to us than um, the safety of our students and I know that the uh, police are erring on the side of caution which is important for them to do. The incident occurred on the school's playground but outside of classroom hours. A 10-year-old boy from Oakland School was approached by a, a unknown man and offered money, money to go with him. Instead, the young boy ran to a friend for help before both told their parents. It's not the first time the quiet family neighborhood has been targeted. Police say on May 14th and 17th, two different young girls reported a man attempting to lure them into a vehicle. Three disturbing attempts in what parents say is a safe place. Quiet, friendly, um, really community oriented and it's shocking. The suspect is described as a white man, late 30s to early 40s, wearing a black shirt and blue jeans, short black hair and clean shaven. The would-be abductor was also wearing sunglasses at the time. Victoria police say they have stepped up patrols in the area since the incident on Wednesday night. However, they are asking parents and neighbours who live in the area to be extra vigilant. Uh, we really sort of watch, I guess, the neighbourhood and try and see what kind of traffic there is at the park. Maybe sort of just keeping an extra watchful eye. But not all strangers are bad. Personal safety experts say one of the biggest mistakes parents make is teaching stranger danger. Sometimes people who they know and sometimes people who they don't know who want to play tricks on them and as a result of that they need to know what those tricks are. Lauer says using money, candy, pets and threats of an emergency accident to a family member are the top luring techniques. The difference that we take is we take the approach of enlightening and not frightening. Because education is the key to prevention when a predator may be targeting young children. CTV's Aaron Glazier joins us now live with more. Aaron, the school district wants to outline some specific things that parents should talk to their kids about in case they find themselves in a dangerous situation such as this. What are they? That's right, Heads in the School offering these tips this afternoon. When walking to school, parents should have their children with the for the first 10 trips to make sure that they know the route well. They should have a buddy or walk in groups or with an adult. Children should walk directly to school with no deviations. They should also walk on a well-traveled route and report any unusual events to adults. I know the parents I spoke to today said they will not be letting their children out of their sight uh, anytime soon. It's a fine line. You don't want to unduly frighten your children, mm -hmm. but you sure don't want to take a chance. Mm -hmm. All right, Aaron Glazier, thank you. You're welcome.